nice of you to drop in. <laughs> Hello people, I am the Comic Book Gamer and Doctor Strange is meditating. This is episode 3 of Let's Talk Marvel. Today I'm going to be talking about the whole Disney trying to buy DC, aka Warner Brothers, and how it would affect stuff and my thoughts on it and all that. So yeah, if you didn't already know, I tried to buy, I don't know if it was a rumor or not, I think it was like true that they are actually trying to buy them. Um, so yeah. I really hope this doesn't happen. Oh man, I'm used to the Lego Batman 2 flying, I gotta get back used to the Marvel. <laughs> um, yeah, that's pretty interesting. I really hope they don't buy them, cause a lot of stuff would change, and I'm I'm happy with how uh, DC is right now. Let, let's let's start off with comics and move into movies about the effects of if Marvel did buy DC. Comics, I have a big feeling at first they would kind of play second fiddle to Mar to Marvel characters. Not as in they would focus on uh, these characters more. Let's hope. Uh, but yeah, as in I think if they did crossovers, they'd have Marvel characters beat the living crap out of DC characters just because they can. <laughs> just like, haha, we own you now. We can do whatever. Like have Ant-Man beat the crap out of Batman or something. I mean, as funny as it would be to see, they probably would do something like that and just not be too respectful. Then they would have to eventually because they a lot of people get mad at them. I don't think they'd do anything like that, like Batman being crap out of Ant-Man, but I do think they would do something to where Marvel, they would make sure Marvel was superior at first. But then they would realize, oh crap, this is our property. We gotta make it good if we want to sell comics. A big thing is... Look at what Marvel's already doing with their own characters. They got rid of male Thor for like, I'm gonna say, three years at max, at max, at least, like a year and a half. So male Thor is gone for a while. Uh, Steve Rogers is gone for a while. So you got Falcon as Cap. Wolverine's gonna die, so he's gone for a while. I really don't want that to happen to DC. I don't want a female Superman. We already got Supergirl. We don't need a female Superman. We already got Batgirl. We don't need a female Batman. We don't need Steel taking over a Superman. Just, yeah, we don't need them to kill off, like... Hello. I'm gonna just kill Rocket Raccoon. Let's buy the character I just unlocked. Star-Lord. Cool, I got Star-Lord now. Now I got Groot as well, so I got... And I already have Drax and Gamora. So I got most of the Guardians, though. But yeah, like I was saying, I don't want them to, to do that. Look at what they're already doing with their own characters. It's like, eh. You don't need to do that with their characters, which is nice what DC is realizing right now. See, the thing that I was glad with DC, they're doing experiments in other universes. Look at Earth 2. Superman turned evil. They got, um... They got a different Superman taking over. That's a, they got a black Superman taking over as the new good Superman. That is all fine because I still have my classic Superman. He's still there in his own book, so that is great. You know, I support DC all the way with doing all that stuff. I'm not going to read it, but I'm fine. It's there for people who do want to read it with an evil Superman story that's been done like a million times. But hey, you know, that's fine. You're doing it because I still have my classic Superman. Like I said, I'm fine with Lady Thor all the way if... Man Thor is still there. I'm trying to think of the mission I want to do. But if you get rid of that classic character, it's like, why? If you want to do this, keep that character still there. Throw him in the Ultimate Universe or something, or just add him as a new hero. That's why I don't get when they do like race changes of heroes. It's like, just create a whole new hero. <laughs> we don't want you to change something classic, even if it is temporary. Let's, let's be a... Oh no, Sentinels can't fly, I forgot. I was hoping the mini sentinel could fly. Let's be Nova. Keeping in like the Guardians of the Galaxy theme. But I don't know why I'm in Guardians of the Galaxy theme right now. Uh, but yeah, I just don't want them doing that with DC. Like I said, I wish they would have done what DC does. Which they're having big stuff happening in Earth 2 right now. And it's fine because Superman's evil. That's great because I still have classic Superman. And yeah, but for Marvel, they're like, no, we're not going to keep you classic Thor. We're gonna give you Lady Thor, but no Classic Thor. Classic Thor's gone for a while. 
So that sucks for the big Thor fans. Oh crap, crap. What do I gotta destroy? Oh, I gotta whack them all. It's appropriate I have a hammer, I guess. Why do they make chicken noises? Uh-oh. Stop, you chicken moles. So, yeah, I just don't trust them with DC characters since they're already screwing up their own. Now, as far as movies would go, I like having competition. And I like the fact that I, I wouldn't want them to change what DC's doing right now. I'm interested to see what happens to uh, Batman v Superman. I loved Man of Steel. I'm very interested to see what happens to Batman v Superman. And I like the darker stuff. Marvel is kind of doing the same thing every movie right now. Which, with some changes up, and uh, I'm getting a little tired of the more comedic stuff. As in, I, Iron Man 1. Great! I already talked about this in the first, uh, Let's Talk Marvel. Great tone, but then Avengers came in and really changed the tone for all the Marvel movies. And they've all been the same, and, like, they've all been laughing in the face of danger. Which doesn't make sense for all these characters. For Iron Man, it makes perfect sense, because Iron Man is one of those guys that makes quips while he fights. But for all these other characters, it's like, you shouldn't be doing this. There's a giant alien coming to destroy Earth. Stop, stop making jokes. I wouldn't want that with DC. I don't want them to go the whole... This is a pain. I need to be a different character. Let's be... How about Human Torch? So yeah, and like I said, competition is good. This, this way Disney would own the market. And it would be like, oh no, we'd have to deal with all that. There wouldn't be any fighting it. Well, besides, you know, we still have Fox Marvel and Sony Marvel. Well, let's be honest, Sony Marvel isn't doing anything good right now. Making Spider-Man 2 was fun if you threw, like, story out the window. But, yeah, so a lot of stuff would change. Oh, come on, okay. Okay, let's start now. Get out of the way, Star-Lord. I got this. I'm trying to focus on this. Move, Star-Lord, you stupid. Of course, Star-Lord would get, would get right in the way. I can't hit them from here, can I? Can I? So it doesn't really matter. What? Are, like, moles impervious to fire? Right, just one more. There we go! Finally. So, anyways, back to the subject. Just them buying... DC would not be good. Competition's good. I, w I like having two different things. I Like I said, I wish all the superhero movies had Iron Man 1 tone. Iron Man 1 is basically the original Star Wars tone. Great tone. You had jokes, and you ha it, and it was mixed with uh with serious stuff. It wasn't like one or the other. Because, yeah, let's be honest. Iron Man 3 was a comedy. That was not an action movie. That was a comedy with some action in it. Iron Man 3 was literally a comedy. I still liked it, but it was a comedy. That's what it was. I need to get a car. I don't know. Let's just fly around. Uh, and so, I like having two different things. I like being able to go and see a DC thing and having it be dark. And hopefully they add Jimmy Olsen in and get some comedic stuff going on. Uh, and Superman vs. Batman, if they have them team up, oh yes, because Superman is hilarious when he teamed up with Batman. Because he messes with Batman so much because of how dark and brooding he is. It's hilarious. I'm getting a little off subject. But yeah, basically the whole thing is I don't want DC to turn into Marvel. Having two different things is great. You get tired of one flavor, you can go to the other. If Marvel owned both, then it's like, ah, oh, crap. I got the same thing. I don't want to see both. And in the comic world, who knows what they would change. Who knows? I don't want to know. I don't want to find out what they would change. They're already doing stupid stuff with their own beloved characters. And, yeah, it's just, you don't know what's going to happen, and I don't trust Marvel enough right now to do it. Like I said, I love some of the Marvel movies. But, I still like having the different take that DC is doing, and I have a feeling they'd get rid of all that and be like, hey, goodbye. And we get Marvel style DC movies since that is making them crap tons of money. Like tons upon tons of money. So they'd be like, hey, let's do the same thing with DC and we can make tons more money. And so, yeah, in short, 
Marvel doesn't even know what to in the comics Marvel doesn't even know what to do with their own characters they're grasping at straws trying to make another superior Spider-Man another controversial thing they'll make headlines and make the money and they would probably do the same thing with DC which would suck the only cool thing would be that they would be in the same universe which could be pretty cool but we've got some crossovers for that go read the crossovers some of them have some good stuff uh, and in the movies, we would have all silly Marvel stuff going on with both, and we wouldn't really get any mix-up. They said Age of Ultron's supposed to change the tone, it's supposed to be darker. Hopefully that's true, I don't see that true. I have them just saying that to try to hype it and have it being the same old Marvel format that's made them billions of dollars. But yeah, what do you guys think of Disney apparently trying to buy Warner Brothers slash DC, since they're the same? I really hope it doesn't happen, I really don't. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and if you missed the past two uh, episodes of Let's Talk Marvel, I'll put an annotation on screen for you guys to check out. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like.